In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between ratios and proportions, and we're going to answer the following questions. Actually, what, what is a ratio? What is a proportion? How do they differ? How are they similar? And then we'll do an example problem. And then we're going to talk specifically about a word that I want you to know, especially for this particular class of geometry. Uh, it's called similar figures, right? So this is specifically if you are studying geometry, okay? Similarity is a concept that you should know. So what is a ratio? A ratio basically is just a comparing of two numbers or two figures, all right? So it's a comparison be between two, two numbers or figures, however you want to say that. And we know a number of ratios, don't we? We know, for example, um, the x-y axis is comparing of the x coordinates and the y coordinates, right? Uh, how is a ratio usually written? A ratio is usually written by a fraction, okay? So there's actually three ways to, to do this. So you can write a ratio as a fraction, as 3 over 5. You can write a ratio using what's called a colon, which is just basically this, 3 to 5. Or you can use text, okay? Which is basically 3 to 5. All right, so these are three different ways to write a ratio. All right, so make sure that you understand the difference between the, the three and that each of these mean exactly the same thing. Now, one thing you should pay attention to when you're writing a ratio is that usually you want to write it in the simplest form. Write in simplest form. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I'll give you another example. If I said something, for example, um, I have a fraction um, 5 to 10, okay? Basically, what is 5 to 10 is the same thing as 1 to 2, right? Because this is twice as large as that one. So you write it in the simplest form. We'll talk a little bit more about that, actually, a little bit later on. So ratios are just a comparison between two numbers. Now, how is that different from a proportion? So a proportion is the comparison of two ratios. Now, how do we do that? So comparison between two ratios. So for example, I would say something like, 3 is to 5 as 10 is to x. So in other words, a proportion is really just an equation. You set two ratios equal to one another, and then you find out what the missing value is. Okay? Now, how would you solve something like this? How would you... Uh, rewrite this, for example, in a way that you might be able to solve. Well, there is a rule called the rule of cross products that's used quite a bit in geometry. And what cross products says is this. If I have an unknown in one of my ratios, I can find it by multiplying the denominator and the numerator of the opposite times or is equal and setting that equal to the denominator and the numerator of the opposite so cross products okay how would i rewrite this i would simply say 5 times 10 would be equal to 3 times x okay and then you go ahead and use algebra to solve this. I would say 50 is equal to 3x, then I would divide both sides by 3, and I would say 50 over 3 is equal to x, and that would be the value that I would put here. If you can reduce it to a decimal, that's fine. Uh, if you want to leave it as a fraction, that's fine. It really just depends on what your um, 
problem is talking to you about, okay? So real quickly, what have we done? We've talked about the difference between a ratio, just comparing two numbers, a proportion, comparing two ratios, okay? And how do they differ? Really, they don't. They're just one is slightly more involved. One is using the other to do it. Let's try an example problem, and let's talk about what similarity means, okay? So here's my example problem. Now, one of the things I love about geometry, especially, is that it's always talking about some type of real-life application. So here's a real-life application. Um, the dimensions of a high school basketball court are 84 feet by 50 feet, okay? Now let's say that you had a smaller patch of land, and you want to keep the proportions the same between the two courts, right? I, 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 can't, I don't have 50 feet here, so I want to make this smaller, but I still want to keep it in ratio or proportion to the larger, uh, more original, right, basketball court. That's what's called similar, okay? When figures are similar, that means that their proportions are the same. Now, how would I write this, right? How would I go ahead and solve what, how long I would need to make this particular smaller basketball court? Well, you can set up the ratio any way you want. You can say 50 is to 84. And then you have to do the exact same proportions in the exact same manner as 30 is to x. All right, so that's actually one way of doing it. I could also just compare the, the similar sides. I could say 50 is to 30, and then we'll go ahead and solve this here in just a second. But 50 is to 30, right? Because I'm using the exact same side of my similar figure as 84 is to x. I could also do, let me see, I could say uh, 84 is to 50 as x is to 30. So the question I'm going to pose to you is, are all three of these uh, proportions going to lead you to the same answer for x, okay? And let's go ahead and give it a shot. I know, for example, if I do cross products, let's just do it this sideways here, I would say 84 times 30 should be equal to 50 times x, all right? 84 times 30, well, let's just clear this off here, 84 times 30 will give me 2,520 divided by 50. And that would lead me to x is equal to 50.4 feet. Okay, let's see if that we get the same numbers here. Cross products would give me 30 times 84. should be equal to 50 times x. 30 times 84. Whoops, let me clear that off. 30 times 84 gives me 2,520. Sure enough, 50 times x the exact same as the top one, so it's 50.4, again, divided by x. And finally, let's just go down here. I have 84 times 30. 84 times 30 will give me the exact same thing, wouldn't it? So the point is I can actually compare similar sides. I can actually compare similarity within the figure itself. All of them will lead to the same answer. Okay? And I hope that was helpful to you.